All right, good morning and welcome to another exciting edition of Keys and Strings, your radio music masterclass right here on Sweet Melodies 94.3 FM. My name is Dani Atai and it's such a great blessing to be here this morning, to be able to come your way with, with another edition of Keys and Strings. We give all the glory and all the praise to God for his blessing and his goodness and his mercies. And I'm especially excited because I have my very, very good friend from way back, Prince Hakim Matthews. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you so yes, much. And um, I mean, if you are a musician in Ghana and by this time, you don't know <laughs> Prince Hakim Matthews, 80% of your life is gone. It's a life. <laughs> 80% of your musical life is gone. Is gone. And uh, it's a blessing to have you here. It's a blessing to be here too. Yes. I remember Again. the last... Again, yes, again, again. again. The last time you came on was in 2018, right? Somewhere mid-2018. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. And I always say this, that personally, in my development as a musician, Hakim has played uh, a very vital role. I remember when I finished SHS and I moved to the area I was living in. <clears throat> and, you know, the boys' boys in the area told me that, Charlie, there's this guy in the area, Prince, <laughs> Prince, Charlie, he's tight, Prince is tight. And I actually heard this word tight from him, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and uh, yeah, so I met him and I used to pay him visits in his home and he would, you know, share ideas, share things with me. And, you know, there's this thing I always say, he said, um, I think I asked him about how to play an interlude. He's a pianist, he's a, a guitarist, a, you know, songwriter, arranger, artist, Yes. Okay, and so those times, I mean, I mean, when the develop developmental stages, you know, and so I asked him, um, how do you play an interlude? And he said something. He said, you think like you are telling a story, and it, it really, really made sense to me. And you know, and he explained further. But w what he said was, think like you are telling a story. And with my with my background in literature, I remember we were taught. Um, the, the, the different parts of a story, okay? There's the, the beginning part. I've forgotten the technical terms, but... And then where you introduced, introduce the, the characters, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then there's the conflict, all right? And then there's the res resolution, okay? Resolution, resolution, pardon me. So, um, so if you're talking about... The show has actually already started. You can actually learn something from this. <laughs> so if you're playing an, an interlude... Okay, um, you start your, your, your interlude by introducing, I don't know what you're introducing, but there's a way you introduce yeah. your, 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 your interlude, okay? And uh, it's usually maybe you play the first two lines of the actual, actual melody, and then you hype it up to the conflict where it's like, you know, it's yeah. like all tensed up and you are doing all the crazy stuff, and then you have to find a nice way of resolving back out of your interview so that we can go back to the exactly. music. And it made so much sense. And so I always tell him that I feel very grateful. To, and, it, and it affected my understanding of music, my play of the piano and how to approach interludes. And actually, it actually even helps me with my saxophone interludes so many years later, you know. So Merci. thank you, man. Merci. Thank yeah, you've, welcome, been, you've welcome, been such welcome, a great bro. blessing to me and you've been such a great inspiration Seeing you, seeing you on the big stages, seeing you. I'm sure even if you've not heard of him, you can see you can see his face. All right, and okay, so this is the longest introduction. <laughs> to <a show> <laughs> you can see his face. If you can see his face, maybe you are listening on radio. But um, we we actually the video of today's Keys and Strings show is on YouTube. I'm going to share the the YouTube um, you know page name or handle whatever it is. To, with you so that you can actually go on YouTube and watch the video. So you can see his face. I'm sure if you are a, a musician, a serious musician that attends concerts or at least you watch music videos, Ghanaian live recording videos, you see him, I mean, on most of the big stage, stages. He plays for Joe Metal. He's played for 
who please tell us oh question thing question thing yes helen, pastor helen um, you're saying i guess it bring phone emoji yes. that in pleasant memory like look all the big people and he also plays for international artists that come to Ghana to you know to perform i mean that don't come with their bands okay and so he's 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 a uh, he's a uh, he's a giant he's in the messy. Ghanaian uh, music industry so it's such a great blessing to have him here and uh I, like I was saying, I feel very proud of him whenever I see him on the big stages because I've always known that Charlie Prince is destined for like the bigger, the high stages, you know, because listen. those days when we were younger, the things that he used to tell us. And listen, and some days in the evening, the boys was in the area, we used to just gather around. It's like uh, by the fireside <laughs> <laughs> with Prince Hakim, you know, and it's great. So you're welcome again. Thank you, bro. We're it's, happy it's, to have you. I'm equally proud of you because uh, the speed at which you, you, you've picked up stuff and now you're all over the world, South Africa, yeah, doing exactly. lessons. So I'm well, grateful. It's a blessing, God. but uh, yeah. South Africa is not all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a blessing. We give, all, we, give, we give God all the glory. Um, so let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. We commit today's uh, show in your hands. We pray, Lord, that you speak to us, use us to be a blessing to our listeners. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So you can join our Keys and Strings WhatsApp page, okay, and, 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 and interact with us um, all through the week. Um, it doesn't all, all, all only have to be during the show, but um, you can ask us questions and say whatever you want to say to us, and we'll be very happy to respond to you. So how to join the page is that you go on Facebook, all right, and uh, search keys and strings. You will see a link there. Open it, and then it will take you into our, our, our keys and strings WhatsApp page. We have a Telegram page too. You get to join the Telegram page by following the same uh, procedure. Now, like I said a few moments ago, we have the video for this episode and our subsequent episodes. Okay, we're going to be posting them on YouTube, and so you can find this particular video on my page, Daniata Music, all right? So just go on YouTube, search Daniata Music, and then you see it right there, Time with Hakim, all right? So search it and watch the video, and I, I believe that you'll be blessed. And I'll, I'll leave a link to our WhatsApp page and our, our, our Telegram page also there so that you can always, uh, through uh, YouTube, also join the, the pages. So, and remember to subscribe. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and like the video, all right? Today, we're talking about composition. Now, before I start that, many of you have sent us messages asking us if we know uh, any music schools and, 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 and all that. Prince Akim Matthews is doing an online um, music school. Now, I mean, with this COVID-19 that's all over the world, you know that you can't go to any, any music school now. The best place to learn is online, okay? So while you're home, you don't have much to do. This is the perfect timing. Like, like we've always said on this show, this is the time you can learn an instrument. This is the time you can learn to sing. This is the time you can learn to arrange and compose music, all right? So um, towards the end of the show, he's going to explain to you how you can get, uh, you can be part of um, the, the, the online school, and I believe it will be such a great blessing to you all. One of the topics that he, he treats, okay, is composition. Music composition is one thing we've never really talked about, and so we want to talk about it. Just scratch the surface to let you realize what you can get from his online program, all right? So, um, what is composition? Well, um, composition is actually what an entity or a product is made of, or composes the product, or what things come together to make the product what it is. Okay. So, musical composition, on the lowest level of understanding, it's actually whatever comes together to make music. Okay. Yes, it's as simple as that. Okay, so whatever comes together to make music. So whatever you put together, the 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 content of yes, the composition little, of yeah of the music. Okay. Okay. So um, what does it take to be a composer? I mean, I've spoken to a number of people, like someone who has a great singing voice. They can sing, and I tell them. 
do you have any compositions? And they go like, eh, I don't know how to come. What does it What does it take to be a composer? Okay, so composition comes from the creative ability of a person. Okay. There's your technical know-how, as in what you, the instrument you play or your ability to sing. You, you can know how to sing songs. You can know how to play an instrument. But that doesn't make you a composer. A composer is someone who has a creative ability to bring new sound mm. that are, even if it exists before yeah. but to the ability to bring new sounds and then whatever idea you have in your head that is new mm. you're able to put it together to make music okay. that is composition i think that's what makes you a composer so um composition mainly comes from a create a place of creativeness so it's a creative ability if i should say mm. so you need to be a, a creative person to yes. be able to put together notes and lyrics of course, composition doesn't all, only have to do with like vocal music, exactly. but so you should be able to uh, put things together. Yes, it could even be a snap. You okay. can do that gives you some form of rhythm. Yeah, if composed, composed a rhythm. something. Yes. Okay. okay, so Hakim, is there a process? Is there a, a a creative process that you can take us through? Oh yes, there is. Um, so let's say you can see whatever you, you have in your mind as uh, a work of art, as a painting. So maybe you want to paint um, the sea or a beach. So you start by getting your canvas mm -hmm. and your paint brushes. They might not necessarily be the end product, but they are essential to get you to the point of getting your painting. Mm -hmm. So the same with music. There's a creative process. The creative process, there's the... The side we all see, that is you making the music, putting in the work, maybe recording mm. or writing down the music, writing down the lyrics. And then there's the other part that we don't see. That's in your subconscious. But that one comes from all the work you've done mm. over the years, all the songs you've listened to, the vocabulary you have, yeah. the lyrics you have, um, what you've learned over the years. It all comes to bear when you start composing. Because you can't compose outside yourself. Yeah. Your experiences it's, it's, it's based on what you know and yes, what you have inside. What you've experienced. Of you. So there are things that trigger the creative process. Mm. For some, it may be issues of life. For instance, all that's going happening yeah. in Minnesota right now yeah. can push someone to write a song. Someone can be moved to write words, compose. And then there's um there's writing the music and then there's composition. Mm. So usually you see that there's a songwriter then there's a composer. Mm. Usually in the technical term of it, the composer is the one who actually brings music or melody to the writing. Okay. So a writer can write down to God be the glory. A composer do da, 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 da. Okay. So in the technical term, that's how it is. But you can be a writer and, and also a composer. composer. Yes. Mm. I see. I mean, so, so um, like you said, your, your composition comes from your well or a, a wealth of um, several years of consuming and listening to studies studying yeah um, I, I mean uh, and even experience yes. okay experiencing a, a particular type of music because definitely <clears throat> whatever composition you are you are you are making mm -hmm. will definitely be a particular type of music exactly right so it all comes from so this means that to be a very good composer you should be one that listens very wide. Am I right? Yes, there's that. Um, it depends. Listening wide might not necessarily make you a good composer, but it will give you um, a wider option. It will open. It will make you more open-minded musically. Yeah. So you have a lot to pick from. Mm. You know, there are certain times maybe you might not directly be inf influenced or inspired by a certain piece of music, but it will trigger something in you to bring out what is in you in a different way. Mm. For instance, I'm African. If I'm composing, naturally, you think that I'll do something along the lines of high life. But because we've been exposed to a lot of uh, foreign, foreign music, music yeah. I might play something that might sound countryish country, yeah. or that kind. So whatever emotion I want to express at that point, if you've listened wide enough, um, you'd find a genre of music that's you find better expresses or helps you express the emotion or the message you want to send across. Mm. Yes. So I think in, in, 
in the whole composition process, in the whole composition process, there should be an end game. You should have an aim. Whatever your aim is, yes, you are inspired to do this, but then what inspires you? What's the end um, product of the inspiration? I'm inspired to write a song of peace. For what? To who? Mm. So if I'm addressing a particular kind of people, I know that, okay, if I'm to address um, people in northern Ghana and I go and play rock, Mm. And I say, I'm inspired to write, compose a peace song in rock fashion for the four of the north. <laughs> it, it's, yeah. They can't relate to it. So though this is a creative process and it's something that's inside you, and you're the one bringing it out, mm. you have to, there has to be an end game. There has to be um, something you see. There has to be something you're aiming at. Mm. And what you're aiming at will define whatever you're doing, mm. will define your creative process, will define what goes into it, mm. what genre you're doing. Yeah what beat you are picking, what tempo is supposed to be at, what key, and all those other musical yeah. bits and pieces that will definitely come together. Yeah. What instruments are on it? Should it be an orchestra? Should it be just um, percussion? Should it be just uh, like a brass band kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, so there, there are levels to the whole composition yeah. thing. Yeah, of course. So that's like you said, there are levels because for maybe for uh, an individual who can only sing and probably uh, has um, the creative, at least, I mean, ability to a certain extent. They're able to put together some lyrics and set some music mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. They have a melody to it. But deciding what instrument you play, whether it should be an orchestra and all of that, would be um, the role of someone else, maybe... Uh, exactly. an arranger, someone who has a producer and all of that. Okay, so I, I just said this for you to realize that even if you, you don't know the difference between what instruments you play where or whatever approach, <clears throat> just being able to put together lyrics and a tune is, is good enough. You know that on this show, we always try to make things simple for you, all right? So you don't need to be as sophisticated in your musical uh, abilities yeah. like Hakim is to be able to compose <laughs> really? music. It's like, oh my God, I, I don't know. I, I cannot I don't I can't tell whether I should be an orchestra playing or what instrument should play. Mm -hmm. All I can do is find some lines and put melodies mm -hmm. melodies to it. That alone is enough because that is where a producer comes in. That's where an arranger comes in. That's where even your band comes in because the band you know contributes a lot to the arrangement and the full yeah. development of your piece of, 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 of music. Yeah. So we want to move on. Okay. We want to talk about different approaches, all right, to composing or writing a piece of music. All right. We're discussing that a bit earlier. And um, so we'll take each point and then we'll, we'll, we'll discuss it. Maybe I'll, I'll just mention all of them. Uh, the approaches are that one, you probably already have lyrics. But then you've, you've written some lyrics, probably you've been inspired by something, okay? Maybe you read a scripture and you are inspired to write a song. So you have lyrics or you, you just pick some text from the Bible. You have lyrics, but you don't know what tune to, to, to put to it or what melody to put to it. Another way is that you have a melody, okay? Or you have a tune. You, you, you think through, you, I mean, and you have a piece of melody ringing or running through your mind and you think, hmm, this can be a nice song. You know, and it's not already a song, a melody that I know, but it's just original from my mind. But I don't know what words to put to it. I find myself in that situa mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. um, another uh, approach or another situation can be that you have some chord progressions. Okay, maybe you are an instrumentalist, you are a guitarist. Maybe while you are practicing, you chance on... Hakim, can we play something for us? Just any random progression at all. You Okay, so <laughs> you, you just try to be all simple, but you chant, yeah. So you chant on uh, a progression that you feel ah sounds really really great. So so that's a, like what you are playing is really nice. Okay, and you want to put some lyrics. You don't have lyrics. You don't have a melody to put to it. And then the fourth one, I don't mean I don't. I'm not saying these are the only approaches, but this is what we are discussing. And the fourth one is that you have both you you get the whole song fully done or fully made mm. maybe from a dream or from a vision or by some divine inspiration or revelation okay 
uh, maybe you had a dream and you went to heaven and you heard the angels singing, angels singing, and um, yeah, you woke up and you wrote it down. So you have a song, or you are in a moment of worship. You are worshiping the Lord and you are in this deep place and you start singing. Yes, those are spirit inspired. And usually, um, I mean, with this type of one, like you have it all made already. If there are any changes, it will be made probably while you are making a, doing the arrangements and all. I've had some songs um, that came from this um, type of divine. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. <laughs> so um, so we'll take the first, <laughs> the first one, that you already have lyrics and you don't... So, Hakim, what should someone who has lyrics but doesn't know what melody to put to it's like have these nice lyrics four lines okay maybe jesus you are great let me just mention some of these cliche Mm -hmm. gospel music you know lines jesus you are great jesus i love you thank you that you love me I love you, Lord. <laughs> That's your line. That's like, so, and you feel like these are really powerful lines that yes, you need, I want to. Yes, yeah, so, want to put across. So this is what I'll say. Uh, uh, let me. Dig- I'm not digressing, but um, though it's a creative process, and some people are musically gifted. Oh yeah. There's always that mm. back and forth thing that we do. Well, I do as a composer. I'll get a melody to a song. And I'll be like, this is good. And maybe I'll wait for a day or two. I'll come back and I know I need to change this. Yeah. I don't like I don't like how this note sounds. Yeah. Or you might even come back and entirely change everything. Even before you, when you're done with the song, it's even possible that you can no, I don't like the sound of this. I want to change the whole thing. Mm. So if you're out there and you think that oh you're the only one going through it because yeah it feel that it should be a one time thing where like you just get the song and everything comes. Yeah. It, it's always doesn't work like that. Yeah. They, are, they are back and forth. Yeah. You might get it right. You might like what you hear. You might not like it. You might yeah. want to change it. It's very normal. No matter how gifted you are, yeah. I think that thing has to happen to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, yeah, it has to. And another thing that happens is you do a song, maybe from the beginning, you think, yeah, it's great, but after some time you feel, nah, it's not a nice song. Yeah. I don't like this song. Or you, you think it's, it's okay, but... You, you you have very little confidence in the song. You wonder if will people really like the song. Or probably you listen to another person's song. Like, for example, before I, I released my album, when I was recording my album, you know, I, I, there was this Andre concert at the, at the First Love Church, and I went and they sang Andre Kraus song, and the songs were so powerful. I mean, of course, these are songs I knew already, I've sang, but they were just so powerful, and I felt like, <laughs> no, I don't like my songs. <laughs> I don't like my songs. I told my wife, you know, I don't want to record my songs anymore. I don't like my songs, because this, like, this is music. This is Christian anointed music. It's normal to feel that way, that, oh, nah, I don't like my songs. So please, if you have some song, you have a song there that you have, you've recorded it on your phone or somewhere, you've written it down, and you feel that, so oh, nah, it's not nice, or the back and forth with it is too much, so mm-hmm. you're, you want to throw it away. Don't, because, I mean, I've heard several, you know, on several occasions where a, a hit an artist with a hit song would say that this was my least favorite song on the oh, whole yes, album. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's, it's happened to, I think, even someone like Neo Kain. Okay. When he was doing Mokobe. Yeah, I think I heard that story. Yeah, yeah. He said that Mokobe was not his song, like his favorite song on the yeah. album. But everyone was like, when, when they hear Mokobe, like, yeah. Oh, Mokobe, yeah. Mokobe, I like this yeah. song. I, like I this think song. I've even heard him say it at a, what those, you remember he used to do this, do this worship train? You used yes, to play yes, with him. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, and he said that, um, his favorite song on that album was G Y M J. Yeah, but Mokobe did much much better. Mokobe, yes, yeah. you know, and 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 it happens. And I think I don't know if some years ago J Loops was on this show, and we we're talking about Bononi. Yeah, and he also mentioned that Bononi was it was just like an addition, okay, to that album, you know, by Joe Metal. It wasn't like one of the like main songs and all. I mean, from the beginning, but then later they decided to add it on, and I think it was the biggest song mm, on, the, on, mm. on the whole album. Yeah, and Hakim was the one who played the guitar. See those nice yes. guitar lines. Yeah, those nice guitar lines. Yeah, he 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 played, he played them. You know, so that's the thing with 
you know writing a song so don't give up on your song that you've written it probably you may never know it will probably may be the yeah. hit song of and you, know, you, you were saying you put together some lyrics you said jesus I... jesus yeah jesus i love you I okay so there's that. a simple way to go about this <laughs> if if you write maybe if you're not if you don't know anything about composition or composition and then you want to give it a try pick any melody you know uh maybe um God bless our homeland, Ghana. So take the words out of it. Mm. Then just make it a tune. So it's da 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 da. And then try and change some parts of it. Just the tune. Mm. So da 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 da. It's not like kind of da 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 da. Mm. So now you have something that's different. It's not da 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 da. It's da 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 da. Then you try, okay, let me see if I can put some words to this. Maybe. Um, your love is great. Why yeah. not let's do something? <laughs> Just let's do something. So with this, what okay. yeah, right? Da 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 da. Your love is great, right? Mm, oh Lord, your love is great. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it sounds, it's, like, it's, it's it sounds like a, a good beginning of a song. Of a so, song. Oh Lord, your love is great. Yeah, we can actually continue, but there's no time. So, yeah, so yeah, go ahead. Mm. So th- that's how you exercise it. If you are new to this, it's trial and error. Nobody's going to judge you. Don't yeah. judge yourself. Try, record, listen to it. It might sound good. Try something else. Try it faster. Try it slower. Mm. Like. Don't limit or don't say that, oh, this one is not good. Just keep trying. Mm. It's in a trial. And, or actually, actually, you know people who, when they, when they program or when they want to do music, they just like keyboard and play anything. Play anything, yeah. And they record the whole thing. Mm. And then they come back and listen to it. And they say, oh, this part it's sounds nice. nice. So, and then they then pick can, it up. They pick it up. So in composition, yes, there are some who hear, like, as you said, mm. some who actually see a vision. They hear the whole song. Yeah. hear the instrumentation. Hear how it's supposed to sound. Mm. They hear everything. Others don't. don't yeah. But some of the songs that we know that are really, really big today, big. Yeah. they did come out. They from came out of struggles, struggles yeah. and trial and error. Yeah. So, so for you to have a, a good a, a song that does very well, it doesn't have to be a divine revelation from heaven. Always, uh, it, it doesn't always, have to, always have to be a divine revelation. And interesting, some divine revelation songs also don't become. Of course, the aim is not to have a hit song. It's like. Your aim as an artist shouldn't be just to have a hit song in life. Your aim is should be to please God and to lead people into the presence of God with your music. All right. So the aim shouldn't be so it shouldn't be that nah this song doesn't sound like it will be a hit song, so I'm dropping it. You may never know what God wants to do with a particular song. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, if you think that the song doesn't sound a certain way, it doesn't have a structural whatever. You can always seek help from a producer, uh, somebody you know has a very good knowledge um, when it comes to like music, and they will help you out, right? Yeah, exactly. And then another thing to consider is the emotion of whatever you are composing. So mm-hmm. if it's something like, "Oh Lord, I need you." It's not the same as praise the Lord, oh my soul. <laughs> like, yeah. They should have a different memory. We are doing praise the Lord, oh, praise the Lord, oh my soul. Like, yeah. it has to have that rejoicing yeah. vibe to it. But yeah. if it's something like a please application, yeah. it's it, like the tone of it yeah. has to change. Yeah. And if it's a love song. If it's a love tone. song. So, so w- w- what you're trying to say is that if, so depending on the lyric, because right now we are talking about you have lyrics. And you don't have a melody. Yes. So depending on how what your lines are saying, you have to choose a melody line that That's will go that the, has the emotional. Emotion. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. I can't, great say, I can't say I give my life to Christ and I'll be singing that yes Lord, yes Lord, yes, yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 So that, Yeah, because I'm trading my sorrows. Like I'm trading my sorrows for the joy know, of the Lord. So come on, it, yes. It's, it's a Lord. good transaction. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a very good so, if it was business, so a very good, good business. I know, right? So it's like, so. let's rejoice about it. Yes, Lord. Okay, great. That's that's a nice one. Um, so I think we move on to the next one um, because of time. The next one is that you have a melody or tune and you don't have lyrics. <laughs> you have melody or tune. Personally, like I said, 
um, this is something that happens a lot because if you are a musician you, you a lot of the time you have a lot of melodies melodies and your mind and things flashing through your mind true. okay and even if i mean and that happens when you are even listening to music all right because sometimes when you listen to music aside just enjoying the music sometimes you can have a thousand and one variations of how i mean the other ways what yeah. you are listening could have been played all right i'm sure someone like hakim i mean if he has an interlude I mean, there are several ways that it can be played, all right? So um, maybe after listening to that music, or maybe just when you're on your own, just mm -hmm. having your own you time, you have melodies running through your mind. So like I was saying, you can have a lot of, you can, I find myself in the situation where I have melodies having come going through my mind, and I'm thinking, this would be a really nice um, worship song, or it would be like a great tune for some like a song Something, yeah. but i don't have lyrics for it what i usually do is i grab my phone and i just r record the melody all right and then just tell myself that you know later in life i'll find some <laughs> <laughs> nice lines to add to it the last statement you made is uh, yeah. i'll start from there that's later in life a lot of people put too much pressure on themselves when they are composing mm. like the, the process should not be strenuous or should not frustrate you frustrate yeah. you um, if you are frustrating yourself to make music, you should know that whatever is going to come out I would be right. nice. You should be relaxed. If it's not working, it's not working. Take so just a leave break. it alone and yeah, give it yeah, time. Yeah, take a break. Leave the song. Maybe go to another song. Try something else. Don't push to make music happen. Don't push to make the composition happen. Don't push to make the melody come. It kills the creative, yeah. like it becomes like a chore to yeah. you. And then, if the thing doesn't flow freely, the possibility of it ministering to someone or even ministering to, to you, you. It's, it's very low. So, one, if you have the um, lyrics, you don't have a melody to it. This way, you're, you have to, you should have done your homework by now. You should listen a lot. Mm. And then, you, creativity is like a muscle. <clears throat> And every muscle, the more you exercise, exercise it, it, the more it yeah. grows and becomes stronger. Yeah. So you have to exercise mm. your creative muscle. When you hear a song, like, okay, this song, if I was singing it, can I do something different to it? Can I change some part of it? Don't see music as a building. Mm. that you, you can't break it. You can't break it. It's like Lego. You can change, you can bring different parts mm. together. To form so, something else. Yes. And everything, everything is possible. I always say this, that in music, there's no wrong or right. There's what someone might say they like. If what you think is wrong is, is the nicest thing someone has ever heard in their lives. Mm -hmm. So don't beat yourself too much and don't try to conform. For instance, if you're writing a song and then you think that this melody I'm getting, it doesn't sound like the ones I get that I hear around. Yeah. It's different. Like they say in pop music, there are four chords. So there's maybe the one, the four, the six. And the fight. Mm. And we're singing um I'm trading my sorrows, yeah. I'm trading my shame. And then, then Jesus, you're my firm foundation. So it's pretty much the same chords. Yeah. Just around yeah. Yeah. a lot of music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, you love me too much oh. too, too much, much oh. too much oh. Oh. excess love. It's still the same. Court. So, yeah. definitely, there are, there are things that come together to make the music what it is. Mm -hmm. um, if your music that sounds different, don't bash yourself. Mm. It may be it the may new be a new wave, like wave a new sound. You know, so don't don't always uh, want to conform. Yeah. No, I want my song to sound like this person. This person song. song. <laughs> if it's different, allow it to be different. I'm sure at the time Mozart composed um, something like the Hallelujah. Chorus. Handel. Handel, sorry. The Handel's Messiah, forgive me. So when he composed um, that song, it's, uh, at the time, I doubt if they heard anything, anything like that. Like yeah. that. You know, when you hear the Handel's Messiah, the whole, yeah. um, the whole thing, it's, it's very different. And I imagine a song like Hallelujah Chorus, you are writing it. Nobody else will understand you. Yeah. Like, ah, what is this? What is this bizarre thing? <laughs> you know, and Z Dog the Priest. Z Dog the Priest, that's what they use for UEFA now. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I know, right? Yeah, I was thinking to myself, whoever composed this, it's like... Yeah, it's, it's, know, it's like... in the handles, Meza, actually. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh. Yeah, the coronation of the king. I think oh, that's the title. Okay. So, there are different compositions. Mm. If you listen to a drum metal song, mm. it may not be the same as an Akese song. Yeah. Um, the same way you listen to an Akese song on peace might be different from an emoji song on peace. Mm. And that's what makes us unique. So, our uniqueness comes through our music, but then technically, you would have to listen more and experiment. Try and error. Trial mm. and error. Several times of trying error. If you don't exercise the muscle, there's no school or there's nobody that will come and catch you and be like when you're writing this song right da, 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 da. It, it's not creativity anymore yeah. if you are thought that way yeah. but i just encourage you to push yourself see if you get a new sound luckily now we have phones that can record we even have that capella maker yeah. and all those apps so yeah. record yourself listen to it try and change it if you do um you are the love of my life maybe that's what you got mm. okay you can try Love of my life, you are. Yeah. Try and play around it. Don't. Oh, please, let's say. You are. What, what, what is that? You are the love of my life. The love of my life, you are. It, it can actually be. It's actually even a new song. I know, right? And no one will you be able to trace. my life. The love of my life, you are. You are. Yeah, you can actually develop this, and it will end up in, into, into another thing. Yeah. Song. Okay. So th- don't don't feel be open minded. Actually, the reason the reason why music is calming is because it gives you the ability to create a whole. It's like you're creating a whole new universe yeah. for yourself. Maybe you build a small house. I don't like this house. Yeah. Create something else. Keep going. Don't bash yourself. Don't judge yourself. Just keep going. Mm. Keep trying. Mm. Keep keep up the creative process. Yeah. This is this is very important, you know. And I'm I'm glad we're talking about it so that the up and coming people, I mean, music. We the up and coming musicians will not feel pressured, imaginary pressure. Okay, to want to sound like the people that are doing well now yeah it doesn't have to be like that you don't have your music that doesn't have to sound like the hit song in the system that's really really important another thing that i just want to chip in is you also have to be careful so that all your songs don't follow a particular like have the same chord progressions or follow a particular we shouldn't be able to it's like right after you you sang the first song we are able to we can actually even put the first song, first song right up, into, into the progression the and everything and, and it to still be you have to be careful <laughs> about that also so that when if you have an album you have a number of songs released they are all different i think can. this part comes back to what you said in the beginning that a story has to have uh, yes. the part where the characters are introduced the conflict and yeah. the resolution yeah. so Every piece of music should have that thing. No matter yeah. how anointed the music is, yeah. make sure that it has all these things yeah. or else it becomes boring at a point. Yeah. And then also, if you actually have a melody, if you're the kind of person who has more melody mm. and then has to find lyrics to it, mm. naturally it means that automatically, by default, whether you like it or not, you have to become a reader. Yeah. You have to become a reader because where you lack is mm. lyrics. Yeah. So become a reader. Open your mind when it comes to lyrics, writing. Read the Bible more. Mm-hmm. There are there are songs that actually pick the the the. For instance, a song like "No Weapon Formed Against Me Shall Prosper." This this is lifted, taking yeah, lifted from directly yeah. from scripture, and nobody nobody will bash you for that. Mm. It's the word of God you are yeah. putting to sing. There are nobody so many going other to come after songs you to come and uh, pay royalties. Mm, like in the beginning was the word, and the word yeah, was, was with God. In, in the beginning it was, was the word. word. It's scripture. Yeah. So if you have a melody, and then you think that you're not getting a lyric, don't go and kill yourself. You might not be like uh, what's the name of this guy? I've forgotten his name. You think um, 
if I were a drama, I would, J-Moss. J-Moss. He, he writes things like a prolific dissertation. Dissertation. <laughs> like, that is like big grammar I know, in, right? in, in, in the song. Yeah. So if you have not read or if you don't know what prolific dissertation, you can't put it into the music. Yeah. So you need to be well read. If you're, if you're lacking when it comes to lyrics, you need to read the Bible, read other literature stuff. Yeah. You can't even study Shakespeare. See, yeah. how did they come up and with even, writing? And yeah, even the style of writing. Yeah, yeah, have a style of writing. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Okay, I want to talk about um, maybe Jesus walking to his death. Mm. Do I want to say Jesus was walking to his death by saying that, okay, this, do I want to write as Jesus walking to his death? Yeah, death. Or do I want to write as a standard by watching Jesus walking, walk yeah. to his death? Or do yeah, I want to write yeah. as the Roman soldier whipping, whipping Jesus? Yeah. So the, you become a story writer. Mm. You, you need to exercise your mind when it comes to writing stories. Because music, in itself, as you mentioned earlier, is a story. You are telling a story. Everything you say, even if you are talking about the greatness of God, it's a story. Mm. We love hill songs at times because... They, want, they say, oh, the greatness of God, but they will not say, oh, Lord, you are great. Mm. They might they, say, they describe the mountains, the mountains and the seas yeah. proclaim. Yeah, proclaim. You know, yeah. You know, they, they say it in a way, yeah. you hear the thing like, oh, yeah. Like, it speaks to you differently. You know, um, um, Pastor Jim Emmett has a song. It's, it's like, oh, indescribable, unexplainable, something, something. That's who you are. Yeah. It's just saying that, oh, Jesus, you are great. Yeah, great but yeah, by a different, different, it, putting yeah, it differently. Putting it differently. You're having a poetic approach. Poetic approach yeah. to it. So if you are lacking in that department and you have more melodies, but you don't have lyrics, definitely the, the underlying factor is to be prayerful. Yeah. Because inspiration comes from God. Yeah. And when you have a lot of the word of God inside of you, revelation exactly. also, you know, births real lyrics for your music. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah. 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 That's a very powerful one. Great. Okay, we want to move on to the next one. Um, so, number three, you have chord progressions, um, but then you don't have melody and you don't have lyrics. Okay, so, so oh, oh, wait, just play. Okay, so like I said earlier, so you're probably a guitarist or a keyboardist and you're just practicing and you chance on, yeah, this progression and it's really beautiful. Yeah, I mean, just like we said earlier on, um, you can record it and single out, because what, what you're just playing, I can try and make different variations yeah. of melody from it. It can actually even be like the melody you are playing. Lord, you are my number one. So after saying, God, Lord, you are my number one. I can say, what else? you can add. You're my beginning and my end. It's, yeah, you know. It's an idea. It might be good, it might not be it good. Be, yeah, but it's, yeah. it's an idea. You yeah, keep it's an it idea, down. Yeah, yeah. You can also decide that, okay, I want the, the lines to rhyme. Okay, so if I'm ending, Lord, you are my number one. I want to probably, the next line I have should end with, with a word one, that rhymes with the one. one. Yeah, like done. Okay, so done. Okay, so I'm amazed of all the things, of all the things you've done. I'm a of the things you've done. done okay that's another, another that's way liter- that's literature yeah so it's, yeah we are Rhyming. trying to be creative here okay so i'm sure that if we had time and we continue this we, are, we will end up having a full song so lord you are my number one i am amazed at the things you've done see yeah so this just uh what is this an example okay so that is how you can find melody and um, lyrics to a progression. Like I said, you can. I just followed what he was playing. The melody, uh, melody he was playing on the very mm-hmm. the higher strings, and then I got I got my melody from there. It can be something else. All right, maybe please play that again there. I can ignore the tan, 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 and do something else. I love you, Lord. I worship you. Ah, na, 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 na. Ah, na, na, na. So, so, 
same progression, someone else will do something different with it. That's how come we just like you said, you you played two or three songs that use the same progression from I'm trading my sorrows yeah. to um, Jesus, you're my firm foundation, and then your uh, excess love. Yeah. All right, and these are songs from different generations. Exactly. You know, but the same progression. So, um, you don't limit yourself. You can, um, with the same progression, come up with different melodies, and you can have a great song out of it. Okay. So, move on to the ne- the last one that we have written here, is that um, you you have both. Um, the the music you have both the the, the lyrics and um, the, the the melody, all right, mm-hmm. as an inspiration that you that's this is very easy. So it's like God has has cooked it all up for mm-hmm. you. You have it from a dream or uh, from a, a deep time of worship. One day I was doing uh, worship. I don't know if I should sing it here because I've not recorded it. No, no, sing it. No, I won't. We sing it in church anyway. Yeah, so so that that's that's what uh, one way you can um, actually the easiest way, yeah, that you can get song get a, get a piece of music where it comes from um, a vision or a dream or from some divine revelation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, can an experience? Can you? Can something happen to you? And maybe you are so sad and you start singing. I wonder. Oh yeah, hunger. <laughs> really? <laughs> How can you be angry? At, uh, I, 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 I said hunger, but I remember something. Like, uh, hunger. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's it happens. There are people when they see food, and then you, you just know, start singing. You know, oh, when, okay, okay, when, I, when I, I get kids, that. Instead of them. That is. Yeah. That is okay. Food. So so that's that's possible. Yes. Like so, all of a sudden, a minute, like you don't know where the melody comes from. Yeah, yeah. Like, they challenge mm. you. Can, can, yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, it's possible. Something you can find yourself in a situation, in an atmosphere, in in a, whatever situation, circumstance, and then you can just start singing, and you can create some music out of it. Yeah. So it's possible. It's possible. And then there's. I think we we missed out on one. Okay. One is actually. Using songs that already exist. Yeah. For instance, um, so winners did. No Jesus, no life. Yeah. yeah. No Jesus, no life. So you just pick a song that already exists, mm. and then you change the lyrics. Okay. On the song. Yeah. So that that's also another very cool option. Cool option. But then when you are doing that, you should be mindful of the copyright. Yeah. Stuff. Things. Yeah. Yeah. The, I just the, have to be if careful. If you are doing it in church or just a few places, that's fine. Yeah. But if you are going to record, record it as your own song, song yeah. you have to seek permission. Make sure that you yeah. seek permission from whoever the original composer, the composer is. is. And especially if you are going to record it, of course, just like you said, and and sell it and make money off it. Because I think I know that if you change the lyrics or you do a cover. If you if you change the lyrics to a song, does it fall within the cover? It falls yeah, within the yeah, cover, falls on uh, the cover domain, right? Yeah. If you if you, I think it's a matter of declaration. Yeah. You have to declare it that it's a cover. a cover. Yeah. So when you study, when you put stuff on YouTube, they, they say that this is a cover. Yeah. Like like um the the music the what you heard at the beginning we did a the little Bononi guitar sax rendition we did that is a cover, okay. And um, it's also I'm going to um, it's also posted separately on YouTube. You can listen if you missed that part. You can just go on YouTube, find you see just search um, Bononi sax guitar cover, um, Daniata Hakim um, Matthews. Just just sax cover Bononi sax cover. <laughs> you should come. Yeah yeah. So so that is that's a cover. So if you don't know what a cover is, a cover is you, your own rendition, your own version. Of a song that is already out there, yeah. right? So um, you can change the arrangement, you can change, but we know that clearly uh, this is this song that yeah. you're and singing. You have and to acknowledge, acknowledge, and make it clear that this is a cover. this song. I'm, yeah. I'm doing a cover. Yeah, and, and usually with covers, you you try as much as pos- possible not to change the too many stra- things. Change too many things. Yes, yeah. people have to identify. Yes. The song. This all happens um, when someone knows the song already. They have an emotional attachment to the song. Yeah. They like the song, so it makes it easier for them to listen to the song. For instance, no Jesus, no life. We already know the song from Bob Marley, yeah. and most of us like the song already. So yeah. when you added the no Jesus, no life, yeah. it is easier for us to relate you to relate the song. To like it, it doesn't feel it, like it's a new song. New song, yeah. But just that the message is in there. So what happens is people would not like to listen to maybe. 
a gospel music. Mm-hmm. Once they hear their Bob Marley vibe, they're like, yeah, yeah that's my Bob. Yeah. Then they hear they know Jesus no life. They're like, oh, okay. okay. That's not Bob, but it's the Bob beat. So you get to send your message. Yes, it's like a, you are being a spy. You are going under the radar. Yeah. And then you are... And then you, but you deliver, you you deliver, deliver your message. message yeah. All the same. Yeah. 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 That's, that's an important one. So covers. And like we, we, we usually advise you to do, do covers if you are... An, uh, an upcoming artist, okay. A very good place to start from is covers, all right. And you don't need to record it. You don't need to go to a studio to record record it. Just with your phone, with an instrument, just play something or have someone play for you, and record it and post it online. Say, yeah, my cover of so and so so and appropriately acknowledge the person who did the original one. It's very very important. All and right? then I think also in composition. <laughs> One part that we usually miss is it has to be relatable. Okay. What you are writing should be something relatable because I remember a friend of mine came up to me and was like, Oh, he's writing a song and he brought about about four A4 sheets. Verse <laughs> one verse one was front and back. Really? <laughs> Why? Why is it a, is is it a counter? counter? Top? <laughs> <laughs> so wow. If you're writing about the verse love one, of two A4 sheets. Two A4 sheets. And he had re- the deep revelations hey. and things, in you, and you. It's like you know, probably it's a book. And when you're taking a... some part out, to be like, no, 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 no. You see, this is where it's talking about the the chronos. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> That's the the, the punchline <laughs> of the revelation. The, this is the revelation now. You have to realize that the the moment the music becomes academic, where people will not listen yeah, to it. Yeah, it's true. And secondly, when there's a melody to it, there's an amount of words you don't want it to sound like you are forcing the it's words too much words into, into, into the music. musical phrase yeah into yeah. a musical phrase so yeah there's that as well don't go and override the song yeah. put all your knowledge like you want to prove a point that yeah maybe you are writing about the love of God you want yeah. to show that you you understand yeah. love love, so like love is sacrifice revelations. love is this love is so, so you, like good. you don't have to say it all in one song you can't even sing even if you are singing about love you can't sing the whole uh, uh, first Corinthians 13 you 13. can't sing the whole yeah. love is love is this love is, you can't put all that yeah. in a song so you can say maybe your love love is uh, patient yeah. love is kind mm. You can't go on love is if you want to sing the whole thing, that's mm, fine. Yeah. But you should know that there has to be a verse, there has to be a chorus. chorus yeah. And then we can't listen to and learn you want people to learn the song and go and write a, a whole A4 yeah. sheet. People yeah. might not read. So so you're trying to say that you have to keep it simple. And relatable. Yeah, re- and you realize that actually the, the the songs that you know do well the most are actually very simple. Yeah. At least the chorus. It's very it's something simple. It's catchy. Yeah, catchy and simple. It's yeah. catchy and simple. You hear it once, you can sing it the next time. Yeah. It's not something you hear once and you're wondering, hey, what is that? Yeah, it's like, can I even learn it? So you can't even remember. And it, it, it should be so simple that even if you don't remember the lines, you, rem- you can remember the melody. Exactly. Yeah. Really, really important. So you should keep that in mind when you're writing a song. And then another thing is, when you want to learn, just the same way we go to school, we want to be a scientist. But the fact that I want to be a scientist doesn't mean that you come up with your own theories all at once. Mm. You still go and study Isaac Newton, you study mm. Einstein, you study all this, uh, all these other scientists, you study their theories and things. It's the same way with composition. Mm. If you like some people's composition, you feel like, ah, these guys are really good. I like how they compose. Learn their songs. Don't, don't feel too big that, no, if I learn their songs, I'll begin to sound like them. No. Mm. Learn their songs. Try and see their thoughts process. If they are, how it goes into it, what lyrics they use, wow. Mm. Or they went like this. Yeah. Then learn, learn from other people as well. Yeah. In doing that, you build vocabulary and then you start to find yourself because you go like, oh, this whole song is like this, but me, I would not like to sing it like I would have sang it like this. That way, yeah. Yeah, if you want to be original, one way to be original is to actually listen a lot to other people. Mm. Or you think you are being original, but yeah. you actually sound like yeah, someone else. Yeah, it's true. In your mind, it's you think true. that, ah, me, I sound like me. But you go and sound like, oh, you sound like this guy. Yeah. You go and listen to a song, you realize that, oh, it's true. I really sound like this guy. Yeah. So you should listen wide. You should learn from other people. Learn mm. from people you aspire to be like. Mm. Don't be them, yeah. but learn from them. From them, yeah. yeah. And read about them. Exactly. That's very important also. And even if possible, read about how they came about the songs that, um, I know that hymns have these things about them where, um, like in my church, <clears throat> whenever the hymns choir comes up to sing, they read a little history about the, the song and how 
the verse, the Bible verse it's, it's from, and, and you know, the, the time in the life um, of the person during which, am I saying that right? Yeah. Yeah, they, they wrote the, the song. So it also, it also teaches you. That's if you are trying to be a good composer. Okay, all of these things influence you in a way. And it actually even makes you... You know, there, there are some people who decide that, listen, I am coming to write a hit song. And they actually decide that it's a, it's a... These are people who are very experienced writers, okay? Someone was telling me that, like, people in the, the Western world, like secular musicians, okay, like composers, <clears throat> they can have an artist, then decide, we're going to make this artist big. We want this artist to sing a hit song mm. or come up with a hit song. So let's write a hit song. Yeah. Yeah, and they actually write it, and they put all <clears throat> these things in place, very nice and catchy lines, nice and catchy melodies um you know hooks hooks for for instance there are many times that it doesn't have to be a melody it doesn't have to be it, it will obviously it'll be a melody but it will not be um like a melody in the song but mm. it will be like a hook yeah for instance in this song god is fighting for us yeah this Yeah, 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 like, yeah. When you hear it, you know yeah. that, oh, there's another side of the yeah, song. Yeah, coming. yeah, yeah. So, yes, there's all those things you have to incorporate into the song to make it. There's a way of, yes, you don't need to, in, in the gospel sect, we don't, we don't have hit songs. But in the music, being a musician, mm. like if I, was teach, if I was teaching, I was teaching them, there are ways to make a hit song a because hit song, anything yeah. on this planet can be studied. Yeah. And when you study, there are melodies that people like. For instance, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This Pez Bell's original writing. Yeah. But it's a song that goes along. People, people like this yeah. kind of progression. Yeah. So if you put this progression into a song, the possibility of, of it, it doing well. Doing well. Yes, yeah, yes. It's, it's so, so this comes from like knowing. So after studying, just like you said, you know, um, these are the type of things people like, all right, based on history and based on what we've seen in the trends okay so if i have this type of progression okay if i put this type of uh if i put a hook like mm -hmm. for example your presence is heaven to me da, 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 da. it's one thing i really really like like about that song and a lot, a lot of people actually someone actually told me that when you guys play that song in church and you when you don't play that i really feel upset with you, <laughs> you guys <laughs> you know so so you you I, I add <clears throat> all the things that you know are things that people will like yeah, elements and elements yes that, that's that make the song yeah what's supposed to be but then i think the the it shouldn't be a deliberate attempt that charlie i want to write a song in yeah, I release the right, song. yeah. You see, in in the in the in the in the Christian setting, the, in the in the I mean, the kingdom of God, if you are making music, you, it's not a, that shouldn't be a mindset you should At have. All. The secular people have this mindset, and it actually works for them yeah, sometimes. Does. Yes, of course. After they produce, after they produce the song, they invest a lot of money in promoting it. You see, that's another thing. It's, it doesn't take just a nice song to make a hit song you also have to promote it and yeah. that's yeah so in the secular world they they write a beautiful song they make a very good musician a singer sing it and then they invest a lot of money into promoting it and pushing it so that it becomes a hit song so they can make a lot of money yeah. and their aim is to make money and to become famous and you know and all of that by the kingdom of god that shouldn't be your aim all right so you shouldn't have the mind where it's like i want to write a hit song because Charlie, you just may be disappointed. Game? I know, right? And who are you trying to to please? Are you? What's the aim? Are you trying to glorify Jesus Christ, or are you trying to have a hit song <clears throat> so that it's like you are the mm -hmm. next artist of the year? You know, so you should also have that in mind and be cautious. You should be led by the Holy Spirit exactly. and you know be inspired by the Holy Spirit. I mean, what I do is, for example, just like you said earlier if you're trying to write a song and you feel like you are struggling with it okay just leave it alone i leave it alone i just say the holy spirit help me help me finish the song there's a song 
that I, I have like that. I was I, I really wanted to write the songs like because one day I was like I've not written a new song in a long time. Okay, let me, let me write the song. <laughs> yeah, and I was struggling with it, and I said, Holy Spirit, help me. And I was able to finish it. I remember I was driving. I remember exactly where I was when I said that Holy Spirit helped me. And by the time I got home, I had the, the rest of it. Yeah, we sing it in church sometimes, and it's, yeah. it's great. And, and then I think the other thing is, there are some people who are gifted to write songs. Yeah, it's but true. It doesn't, true. It, doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to sing the song. Yeah, yes. You see, you can be blessed with a song. I think there's, there's something that happened with Akesi. Akesi wrote a song and um, gave it to Pastor Jifa. Okay. It's a worship song. Very, very powerful song. He, re- he wrote the song, but I realized that he's doing more of reggae. Reggae, and yeah. So he gave it to, to someone else. Who, ble- so later, yeah. if he wants to record that song again, he's, he, can, he, yeah. he can easily record it. But yeah. don't be the kind of person, you feel so attached to your song. That, like, hey, nah, I have to, to sing it myself. myself yeah. So you write the song, you sing the song, and the song loses its essence. Yeah, but someone else sings Someone it. would have sung it and brought the life out yeah, of the song yeah. properly. You know, most of the people we know, they are, they are not songwriters. Most of the artists we know are just singers. Mm. There, there's a songwriter, composer, and a singer. Mm. There's someone who is just a singer. If you are just a singer and then you struggle to write, maybe you have all the things you've said, you've done it all right, but still the songwriting is not coming to you. Mm. It means that it is not your calling. Mm. It's, it's not... And I, there are people... I know several artists who are not songwriters, but they yeah. are amazing ministers. Yeah. So find your calling. Find where you are good at. Obviously, don't be lazy. Don't we'll say that, oh, it's not my calling, so I'll not even try to work at yeah. it. Maybe before you know it's there, it's dormant. Yeah, so you need to you keep have to, working Just like you it. said, creativity is like a muscle. Yes. Yeah. So it, there are various okay. ways to go around it, but I think at least today with... Yeah, with... with, with um, exo- I mean, not like, it's like exhausted, but we've talked about at least the main aspects. Before we go... Uh, Prince, tell us the structure of your online program and how okay. anybody can join in. So the online thing is actually a virtual class I've come up with um, in this corona period. And just not because of corona, but people outside our country, outside um, Accra, mm. who actually need, who have been asking for yeah, lessons. lessons. Yes, and I think this time I was presented the best opportunity to do that. And so what, what's happening is that you... Either email us and tell us what your aspirations are. Okay. That's the quali- there's a qualification process. You okay. you have to have an aim, what you want to achieve, and based on that, we'll either admit you or not. Mm. And so you email pretheology at gmail, which is P-R-I-T-H-E-O-L-O-G-Y. Please relax. <laughs> pretheology. Pretheology. Mm. Pre. Yeah, P-R-I. That's Prince. Okay. Or oh, sound there, yeah, so pre theology at Gmail, or you WhatsApp or call this number. Okay. Zero two zero two nine five nine two seven five. Again, uh, please. Zero two zero two nine five nine two seven five. And if you are if you are from outside Ghana, you should add plus, plus two, two three, three three. Yeah. Yes. So once you message that number, you get you will sort you out so okay. it's, it's always been my um joy to share the little i know yeah. and I, I wish that some of the struggles i went through while starting music yeah and some of the things i wish i knew i i really want to share those things with other people so they don't have to waste as much time as some of us did yeah. while, when we were learning and i think this time to most of us are home so it's a good time time to, yeah to invest and for into all those saying that oh it's online it's not going to be effective the truth is that most of us actually learned from online. online i know right you know the event the advent of youtube most of us picked our stuff from there so it's a good opportunity this one is not someone you can't communicate to who is on youtube yeah that's so why talk to me i'll give you assignments uh, things too. So Sound Expo is handling this for me. So please contact the numbers I've mentioned or the email address and then... Okay, please mention the email addresses and the numbers again. Okay, so the email address Pretheology P-R-I-T-H-E-O-L-O-G-Y at gmail.com and the number is 020-2959-275 020-2959-275 275 you can either whatsapp or, or call. call yes so so you can actually you don't have to be a Ghanaian to um, be part of this uh, most of my subscribers 
are Kenyans, South, South Africans, Africans. <laughs> <laughs> <International>. <laughs> Nigerians, Zimbabweans, mm-hmm. and you know, and a few Americans. Okay, so um, if you're watching this and you want to be part of it, you can actually be. It would be great having a Ghanaian, Ghanaian guitarist, <laughs> top top <laughs> guitarist. Oh, in the class we are top teaching pianist. We are teaching piano. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's keyboard, guitar, bass, and then composition as well, songwriting, composition. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, so it would be great to have someone like this, um, you know, teaching you music. I don't know if, I mean, maybe like, I don't know if you've heard of Joe Metal. Joe Metal is one of the biggest gospel musicians here in Ghana and, and Africa, and this is his guitarist. I don't know who else you want to have music let- lessons from. His guitarist. You know, so I encourage you to um, subscribe to this, and I believe that you have a fantastic learning experience.